today let's take the chapter air to breathe now what does breathe means breathe means to take in air fresh air and to let out okay so we take in fresh air and we give out all the dirty air so that is called breathing now let's start with the reading I am running in the park with a kite in my hand. Air helps my kite to fly. So now this girl you can see she is telling us that she what she is doing she is running in the park and what she has in her hand a kite this is a kite. Now all of us have used the kite we have played with it so we know that the kite where it needs air to fly. I can feel the air on my face but I cannot see air. So now this girl says that yes she can feel the air on her face when she is running see here she can feel the air on her face but can see she see it can we see it no she cannot see air we cannot see air but we can feel it do you know air is all around us we use it all the time so yes we know that air is all around us we also know that air is all the time around us and we also use it how do we use it we breathe air we use air to breathe air makes things move around yes when you say uh, sometimes suddenly when you will see a paper flying so how does that paper fly because of the air when air moves it is called wind so you can say moving air is called wind a breeze is a light wind now what does light wind mean that the breeze is the wind which is flowing very gently and slowly so that is called a breeze a strong wind is known as a storm now the fast moving wind which also destroys many things especially during the rainy season you will notice that wind is called storm the air from the fan keeps the room cool so yes that's why we have this fan no what happens when from uh, come from outside when we are feeling hot we switch on the fan so this suddenly we start feeling nice and cool that is the use of air we do now second use is air dries clothes yes what we do we take the wet clothes after washing we keep it outside to dry in the air. the yacht moves because of air this board this has this has got the sail look sail is this cloth piece which is attached to this board this board so this is called the yacht so what happens when we need to move this board this kind of board the air is used okay how it is used see air when it comes from this side it will push the boat forward okay it will push the boat forward in the water that's why this is one more use of air the leaves fall due to air yes the leaves here they are falling in the autumn season maybe because of air now let's do some experiments to know more about air now what is an uh, experiment experiment you can say is a test okay experiment is a test now first experiment which we are going to do is air has weight here we come we will come to know that air has got weight weight you can say is also another name is mass or you can say how heavy is the air or whether air is heavy or not let us see take two balloons fill air in one take a long stick and tie both the balloons at the end of the stick try to balance the balloons which one weighs more the one filled with air or the one filled with no air the balloon with air will weigh more so now we have to take two balloons of equal size okay we will take two balloons of equal size in one we will fill air and in one we will not fill air then what we will do we will tie these balloons to the end of a, ends of the stick okay this is the stick so we will tie it here and we will try and balance then what we will see does this balloon this has cause air inside it it will come down and this without air will go up this means that this balloon has got more weight okay this has got more weight that's why this is coming down experiment number 2 air is needed for burning take a candle and fix it on a table now why we are taking this candle and we are fixing it okay why we will fix it so that it will not drop down 
light it up here we are lighting it up put a glass over the candle and cover it after some time the candle will stop burning because there is no air left in the glass remember to take the help of an adult while doing this experiment so now what we will do we will take a candle and light it uh, light it and then what we will do we will cover it with the glass okay when we cover it with the glass after some time we will notice that this will happen the light will go off and what will happen why it this is happening because the air which was inside this glass okay inside this glass also some air was inside it it what happens now when it is burning the all air it is, the candle is using it up and when the whole air is used the candle will stop burning so this proves that air is needed for burning grandfather says that like we need clean water to drink we also need clean air to breathe so that girl's grandfather he is telling her that yes we need clean water to drink as same way we need clean air to breathe but our air is getting dirty all the time because of the smoke from vehicles and factories so now we know that our air is getting dirty so how is it getting dirty from the smoke this is the smoke this is the smoke okay what is smoke smoke factories when they burn the coal they, the smoke is produced so this smoke is actually making the air dirty then see you can see this vehicle smoke coming out from the vehicle so vehicle is your car okay suppose your car or bike the smoke coming out from there also dirty our air second reason is cutting of trees now see here you can see in the picture the trees has been cut down a tree is the only living organism which cleans the air okay tree cleans the air so what happens if we cut it down uh, cut the tree down what happens it, the, there will be lesser amount of tree to clean the air then the dust from construction now what does construction mean see first let us see what does dust mean dust means the tiny particles okay which tiny very tiny particles of ash dirt earth soil you can uh, it is present in the atmosphere now from where is it coming how this dirty tiny uh, this tiny particles are coming in the air because of the construction construction is where building work is going on okay where building work is going on that is called construction so this is how our air gets unclean or dirty grandfather says we need to take care of our, our air but how so yes we need to take care now take care here means that we need to keep our air clean but how will we uh, keep our air clean now let's see what grandfather is saying by walking instead of using a vehicle yes this is a very good practice or you can say correct practice that we have to use we have to walk instead of taking vehicle that is instead of taking a car or bus or your um, scooty or moped you can walk to shorter distances then by planting trees yes that is also 100% correct the more we plant trees the more trees will will clean the air by traveling by car at all times no this is very wrong practice we should avoid using the cars especially we should take out the car when there are more people see here if one two only two people are there in the car and more people can be seated so instead of taking the car we should take smaller vehicles like scooty if there are two people and when there are more people like four or more then we can use the car by bursting firecrackers now bursting firecrackers means when we are burning the firecrackers now what are firecrackers see in diwali you you use these firecrackers to burn so these things here are the firecrackers and you burn when you burn them a lot of smokes come out from this that's why you should avoid using them we should not use it so keep the air clean so this is a wrong practice